the first film and some of the second, third, and then uh, we'd ride at uh, Otay Mesa 905 there. A lot of it was filmed there. And then at like uh, Beaumont, California, um, a lot of it was filmed up there also, where in Paris and Temecula and shit. Deegan and those guys, they, they, I haven't talked to any of them dudes in forever, but I think they still live there. He's, uh, all those guys now are, you know, racing pro trucks and doing, you know, rally cars and razors and shit. They're not, uh, riding bikes so much anymore. I saw Travis is coming to, um, Nashville, though. Nitro Circus is coming here. Are they really? Soon. Yeah. The Bridgestone? Yeah. I think it's Bridgestone. Wow, I didn't know that. So I guess Travis is still, like, I know Travis has been riding, uh, racing razors and he's done everything. But I guess he's, he's still riding some, but only, you know, during the Nitro yeah. Circus shit. Yeah. He's only got so many body parts left that haven't been broken, so. And he's young compared to all of us. Like, uh, my boy Dave, uh, Dave Dominguez went out there with a couple dudes from San Diego learned how to do the backflip. Dave won a couple of, uh, um, with his freestyle? Yeah, it was Vans, too. I don't remember which one it was. But he won overall, and a few of them won uh, Step Up. Him and I, like, I grew up with Tommy Clowers, Tomcat. Um, he won a bunch of that shit, too. Like, high Step Up and um, uh, overall points for the show and stuff like that. But they'd always get, you know, hurt or broken in between there. Here comes some fucking diesel blowing black smoke out here. He's trying. Fucking weaving oil all over the road. Come on, dipshit. If that was Hicks, James would oh, be, uh... Yeah, he'd mash it out. James's truck will do 130. So, we grew up riding with those dudes and got to see all that shit before there ever was any freestyle. Before, they were, they were wearing, like, snowboard shit back then. But by the time I got into it, I was too old for any of that shit. had all the bikes, went and did a bunch of that shit, started another company, J-Dub Industries, doing clothing, put like 10 grand into it, doing t-shirts, hats, stickers, shit like that, going to the desert and stuff, and passing that shit out, putting stickers on bathroom walls and shit, and within a couple months, we turned it into 40 grand, so it just shows you, like, if, if you do business, it doesn't really matter what you do, it's, it's more about you than it is the business. I mean, obviously, you have to have a viable business that people want, but J-Dub Industries just came from a guy who worked for me, a buddy of mine, Matt Morgan. You guys see him post on Facebook a lot. He just always called me J-W, which turned into J-Dub, and uh, that turned into J-Dub Industries. I was buying motorcycles and gear and trailers and shit, trucks to pull up, and the uh, accountant back then said, hey, man, you need to start another business to be able to write this shit off. We can't write all this off as advertising. And that's where JW Industries came from. And all it was was hats, t-shirts. We had a little forum. And we'd go out and ride. And we'd show up with a bunch of black trucks and black trailers and black bikes. And everybody wanted to hang out just because there was cool shit there. And they started talking about it, putting stickers up. And within a few weeks, we started seeing JW Industries stickers all over the backs of stop signs and police cars and all kinds of shit around Carlsbad and uh, Del Mar, to, you know, Temecula, all those areas. And, uh, that's it. That's all I got for here at the gym. It's a nice car. I know. It's crazy. I've seen one of those before. 